So any, anytime we travel, I always like to take a banjo with me. And this time I wanted to take this new little maple banjo that I bought. I looked at it and I looked at an SS Stewart student banjo that I have in there and they are almost exactly alike. So this one's got some metal strings on it. I think I'm going to take them off. I broke the fifth string the first time I tuned it. I think I'm going to take them off and put some nylon strings on it. Uh, I kind of, in my old age, I'm getting, I am kind of like the sound of some of them old nylon strings. A little bit softer sound. And they're probably a little easier on some of these old banjo necks. So, of course, you know, a neck like this, if it's gone all these years without warping, it probably ain't about to anytime soon, but still, uh, I like the sound. I, some of my favorite banjos have nylon strings on them I've been playing lately, so I think I'm going to just ease these ones off of here. And uh, I got a new set of bell nylon strings here, and I'll just put them on it. Give that a shot and see what we think. I suppose I can clean this up a little bit while I'm doing it. Who knows it needs it. It's a good time to take a rag and some oil and wipe it down. It's pretty filthy. Head seems to be pretty tight. Doesn't seem like it really needs adjusting much. I think even without taking it apart, a lot of times I pull a banjo apart when I clean it. And I think even without taking it apart, just if I got me a rag and wiped it down and got me some oil and wiped on it, I think it would be, that would be nice. I try to keep up with these little strings. They are, they're so small sometimes they get in the rug or in the floor and you run over them with a vacuum cleaner. You can't see them because they're so kind of almost invisible. I try to keep track of them. I got a bucket. I put all the strings in, and every so often, when I need a piece of wire, I yank one of them out. I was thinking the other day about making some wind chimes and wondering how well some of this old banjo string would hold up. You know, I ain't never thought about it too much before, but that string that they put on them wind chimes must be pretty good stuff because you don't see a lot of them falling apart where they're uh, out in the weather all the time. You would think that the, whatever kind of string they use on them would rot out. Especially where they're out blowing in the wind all the time and everything. Somebody said they used fishing line, heavy duty fishing line on them. I expect that would do. That would be, certainly be pretty, pretty weatherproof, you know. We knocked off early today. For one thing, it's, it's a little bit hot if you're out working in the sun, but for another thing, we're, we're going down to the funeral. Uh, I need to think about what I'm taking with me and what I'm gonna wear and what we need to pack, things like that. I kinda wanted to take this banjo. I thought it'd be an opportunity to spend some time with it if I took it with me. So I'm gonna get me a rag and some oil. I'm gonna wipe it down a bit. Wouldn't hurt to take it out there and blow a little air compressor. See how much dirt's in the back of that? I might go blow that out with my air compressor before I wipe it down. 